Hello Internet, um, Blue Lolly here once again in the kitchen at the hut, and today I'm going to make a sink cleaner because my stainless steel sink is grody. Ew! And it's really simple. You take equal parts salt and baking soda. Now I'm going to use washing soda instead of baking soda uh, because I find the washing soda works a little bit better and I have it on hand because I just made homemade laundry detergent a couple of days ago. And if you have hard water stains like I do, you can use a 50-50 mix of water and distilled white vinegar, which by the way is also my counter cleaner. <laughs> Very good stuff. And while it does smell a little bit like vinegar while you're using it, as soon as it's dried, you, you never know you use vinegar. However, if the smell of vinegar does bother you, you can put a few drops of essential oil in or maybe some lemon juice, which I have been known to use in the past. And I currently don't have any lemons in the house, so. 50-50. Oh, uh, you'll also need a sponge. <laughs> I apologize in advance for the absolute grodiness of my sink. It's been a while since I've cleaned it. In, in the true realism of the hub, I'm showing you the nitty gritty today. So come with me over to the sink. Here's an overview of my sink. It's a double sink with a spray head and the disposal's on this side. And my stainless steel sink strainer is also in here. Since it's stainless steel, I can clean it with the same cleaner. And I usually have some things on the back here that you'll see near the end of the video. Uh, I've removed them all for the sake of cleaning. I gotta get back here. Oh god, I'm showing you the nitty gritty nasty. Ugh, it's so gross. So gross! Ah! I need to clean that with the vinegar water mixture. Die, grum! Die, grime! Die! Oh, these incidentally are my cutting boards, and it's perfectly fine to get the vinegar water mixture on your cutting boards. It's actually a good sanitizer. And this is what I was talking about with hard water stains. See this stuff? Arrgh. I've sprayed all my vinegar down, and I'm just going to go with the grain of the sink. The, the physicality of the hub was established in 1960, so there are a few scratches, but in general, the grain runs this way. Oh. See? See that? Oh god, that looks so much better. Woo! Look at that. It's done right pretty. So next step is to get your sponge wet. Uh, I use cold water because I find it brings out the shine. And you give a quick wipe down of all of the vinegar surfaces. Quarter cup of salt. And here's our quarter cup of super washing soda. And you just stir it together. Now I have made this in a jar before and shook it. But then you have to wait for the powder to settle before you can open it. And again, if you want it to smell better, you can add a few drops of, say, lemon juice or store it with a lemon peel. And then you just sprinkle it any which way. And plenty on my faucet. And then just like you do with the store-bought stuff, you take a damp sponge and you scrub along with the grain again of the sink. So I didn't realize my video wasn't recording, so... I have scrubbed and then rinsed down the sink. But just like vinegar, you scrub it down then rinse it. Only with the vinegar I used cold water and after the uh, washing soda salt mix you use warm water. I'm gonna dry everything down and you're gonna see the final super shiny result! Alright internet, this is the final view of my sink. All polished and shiny and dried out. And as you can see, it is really shiny and amazingly clean. Much, much improvement over what it looked like before. Thank you for following along with me, and have a lovely evening. Happy hugs from the hub to you and yours.